Hola, how's it going everybody? It's Andy Timmons. I'm back in uh, Brazil here, 2016, and very happy to be on C for Club. Thank you for having me back. And very excited, uh, here on a masterclass tour, and but also here to promote a uh, brand new signature pedal that the GNI NIG people have uh, collaborated with me on, and it's the Andy Timmons Limited Edition Vintage Distortion Multifuzz. And it's a pedal that I've had really in my in my collection on my pedal board for about 10 years. A um, good friend of mine, Cindy Cavallo, um, met me here, and I had a I had a gig in Sao Paulo, and I needed some gear, so he loaned me his amplifier, his Mesa Boogie amplifier and cabinet, and he was working, I think, with with NIG G and I at the time, and had this pedal that he thought I might like, uh, and this is how every great pedal seems to come into my orbit somehow. I have a friend that I trust that you know maybe knows what I like sonically. And so he gave me, he gifted me this, this, this lovely pedal, the Vintage Distortion Multifuzz, and I immediately found a tone um, that I loved on it. It does lots of things. It's, it's a fuzz and a distortion, as, as, the, uh, as the title suggests. Um, but immediately I found my Jimi Hendrix Octavia tone. <laughs> Upper octave uh, kind of octave. What's an oct octavia? It's a, it's a ratty kind of octave fuzz. Which I've used that tone a lot um, on a song called Helipad from the Resolution record. And also on, on the new uh, Andy Timmons band record, there's a song called Winterland that uh, the GNI pedal is, is, is highly featured on. And I'll do a little play of that later. So Sydney brings me this pedal and I find the, the tone that I love and I, uh, I've been using it, like I say, for about 10 years. But it does a lot more and I thought I'd just give you a quick example of some of the other sounds that it does, including the one that I use all the time. So let's do that. I'm just, uh, I'm running everything into the front end of a clean Mesa Boogie today, my, my uh, tried and true Lone Star. So now I'm going to take off the gain that I have running into it. And now I only hear, only hear the NIG. Now if I go to the vintage distortion side, it's got a really nice kind of lead tone. You can see you've got the, the two upper controls are uh, handling the distortion tone here. So you've got everywhere. Gains it. And that's into the front of the clean amp. I haven't even been using it for that tone, but it's there. It sounds wonderful. I'm able to get a very nice lead tone from it. So then let me go over now to, you can use these in conjunction with, with each other, but I thought I would show you the distortion side and the fuzz side, and then we can check them out together. Now, if you go to the fuzz side, you have three different types of fuzz. The first one's pretty mild. <laughs> But to me, the, a lot of the old fuzz circuits, like the fuzz face or the big muff, they sound okay on their own, but they really sound great in front of a really loud, already kind of distorted amp. So let me turn on the lead channel of the Mesa, and this will be the, the number one setting of the multi-fuzz. <laughs> so so with, without, without the multi-fuzz... Just the amp, now the fuzz on. Really just kind of pushes the amp into this wonderful creamy kind of a, kind of a lead tone. That's a lot of fun. That's again, something I haven't really used it for as much, but it's a beautiful tone. Now, number two setting is is a bit more gain. So this might be going from fuzz face to a more of a big muff. 
again, just pedal on its own into the clean channel. Sounds pretty cool, but if you put it in front of the lead channel. thicker higher gain kind of uh kind of fuzz now if i go to channel three now this is the tone that i'm mostly using the pedal for and that's that upper octave octavia type tone so i'll put that on uh. and this is a it's always a quirky kind of tone the classic octavia uh designed by roger meyer back in the 1960s for Jimi hendrix those original circuits really only work on the neck pickup and above the 12th fret. So down, down uh, below the 12th fret, it's going to get muddy, but if I try it on the bridge pickup, not bad, but where it really shines, where the harmonic content really is, is that neck pickup, 12th fret and above. But of course, I use it in conjunction with a lead tone, so it's So it really does some nice things, feedback-wise, harmonic-wise. Um, now that's okay using each side independently now if you want also you could certainly use the vintage distortion side as your lead tone switching on the other multi fuzz Within the box, I would change the settings a little bit to, to make up for the different types of gain tones. But all I did there was turn the level up of, of the multi-fuzz and the gain of the multi-fuzz down a little bit. Then all, all of a sudden... And that's just the G&I all on its own. That's just clean, clean amp. Here's everything off. Vintage distortion. Multi-fuzz. Very versatile, very toneful pedal, and uh, and, I, and I've said this in, in in other contexts before too. It's it's one thing to find a pedal that you dig and gear that you like, um, and for me at this point in my career, it's it's been really important um, that if I'm going to align myself with a company, it has to obviously I ha it has to be a piece of gear that I'm using. It has to be something that I genuinely um, you know have on my pedal board that I'm not I'm not using just to promote a product. Um, but I've got to really love the people of the company, um, and that that is certainly the case with with NIG. The everybody that I've worked with at the company, from Sydney, you know, who I started the relationship with the company through, uh, it's just been a very organic, um, you know, sympathetic relationship. So that that's important. I have to love the people and the gear. So I'm very proud to be associated with a great company, a great Brazilian company, and uh, I hope to be back to Brazil many, many, many times. So that's. What the pedal does, I'm going to do some playing here and, and utilize it in a couple of my songs. And I uh, hope you enjoy the pedal. I think that the, it's limited to 300 pieces initially. They all come hand hand signed. We signed them at the factory as they were putting them together. And very proud of it. I think it looks awesome and sounds great. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, best of luck to you in your playing. And we'll see you somewhere in Brazil soon. Yeah.